What's up, I'm Vin, and today I wanna to tell you why I became a high school math teacher. Now, this question I get all the time from my high school students. They always wanna know, why'd you become a high school math teacher? And for me, it goes back to my college years. So in the middle of my college time, I was pretty much undecided on what I wanted to do with my life. And even at one point, I considered dropping out because I said, if I'm just taking these random classes and I have no idea what to do, maybe I should just start working. But then I had that moment where I said, you know what, let me give it one strong try. Let me pick something challenging. And I ultimately decided to pick math. Now, as a younger student in my elementary years, you know, middle school, high school years, I was decent at math. And for some reason, like that subject just always stood out to me as the one that I had potential to be good at. I mean, I could have been good at the other ones, but for some reason, math was the one I was most focused on. So I went all in. I decided, you know what, let me just stop goofing around. Let me put my all into this subject. And I attribute my change in life when life started to get good. I attribute that to me just focusing on studying. I spent hours and hours and hours a day trying to get good at math. And in the beginning, it was very frustrating. I just felt like, what's the point of this? Why am I doing this? Is there a prize? Should, have I, should I have just stuck to an easy major? Should I have dropped out? But what started to happen is as my grades went up in math, then all of a sudden, good things were happening. All of a sudden, I was getting grant money for being a math major and maintaining over a 3.0 GPA. So I started to notice, wait a minute, things are starting to correct themselves. Maybe I should just keep going in this direction. And that's what I did. I took more math classes. I went heavy into the math major. And I just more and more really started to appreciate the subject. The professors that I had were awesome. The people that I met were absolutely amazing. And all of a sudden now, my college experience was starting to have meaning. And that is all because of math. Now, what was the moment where I said, I want to be a teacher? Because I did consider at one point becoming an actuary, because if you don't know what you want to do, you might as well head in the direction of money. But for me, the moment I knew I wanted to be a teacher, I was taking a class called complex analysis. And I was studying in the library with a group. And I was in my last semester. So by then I had taken so many math classes and I was pretty good at this point. And there was a homework that was assigned where the professor assigned a few limit questions where we had to find limits using the epsilon delta definition of a limit. And for the people who didn't take intro to higher math, there was like almost no shot of them getting it because to self-teach yourself that topic would have just been insane. But because I had already taken that class, I taught it to a group of people. And I remember thinking, oh, wow, I'm almost done with college. Now I'm going to go into the real world. I don't know what I'm going to do. If only I could be paid to sit in a room with people and just work on math problems together and we all just get smarter together. If only there was a job for this. And then, boom, it clicked. Be a high school math teacher. That was what I wanted to do as clear as day. Because for me, that was the time that I attribute to my life becoming amazing when I found purpose. And for me, once again, I was on my way out of college, but math saved me. Me pouring everything into this subject all of a sudden, life became good. And then when you're doing well, more people just want to be around you. You're attracting people who are also motivated. It just started to upgrade my life little by little as I got better and better at this subject. And I've been doing that ever since. As long as there's math in front of me every day, as long as I keep solving problems, life is going to continue to be good. Like, don't get me wrong, there will be stress. Teaching at times can be stressful. But the reason I got into teaching is still there. Every day I'm working with my students, I'm watching them get smarter, and that still brings me great joy. It reminds me of the time I was back in college going all in in the subject, getting better myself. If there's one thing I want you to take away from this is that you should find that one thing that you're willing to spend hours and hours and hours a day getting good at. You don't necessarily have to be the best in the world at it, but if you spend the hours and hours and hours and hours and you get really, really, really good at something, that's just gonna become your passion and it's gonna be something that's always gonna give you focus in life. You're always gonna have something that you could rely on to give each day purpose. And if it's your passion and you're really good at it, that could be the thing that earns you the money in this world. So find your one thing.